welcome back everybody hope you enjoyed that first video i know it was kind of short uh the next one probably won't be much longer uh just a warning but there are several things i wanted to show you from the expo that we talked we talked to people i actually talked to people uh met some youtubers you're gonna see that uh one of uh, the people we camp with mark is a cook and he cooks we show that and uh oh side note just left seeing Top Gun. Gotta see it. Great movie. Back to this episode. So please stay tuned. Uh, oh, and stay tuned till the end because there is an, I'm just going to say the word, epic campsite at the end that I will give its due. I will thank the person who turned us on to it at the end of this video. So one, thank you to that person. Uh, I will identify you at that point in the video. And two, so stay tuned. And, uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, this morning we're just getting up and getting ready, making breakfast. I'm using the uh, jet foil for the first time. It's different. I'll let you know what I think of that later. So yeah, I'm gonna eat drink some coffee and eventually get over to the venue when they open. So we'll see you over there. Bye. All right, we're inside. Everything's open. Everything's here. Everybody's coming in. And we're about to start walking all the aisles to see what they got here. It's going to be crazy. Hardy is crazy. think about it for a day and then we'll come back and maybe buy it. Stay tuned, I'll show you what we can uh, we find. I built this van from a two-wheel drive, just tracks us flying shitter, 2,000 bucks. <laughs> and I've got it to this point with some sponsored help, I'll met Sponsored help helped me with the four-wheel drive, the, the Linex coating, which I can't say enough good things about. Okay. Um, I built the interior all myself. I did all the wiring and house battery and stuff like that. Red Arc is a sponsor as well, but and they provided me the the gear I needed for the charging system. Um, but the funny thing was, is I wanted it, and I was like kind of thinking about pricing it out or, or spending the money because I really liked the way it worked. And then it, they just emailed me, and it just was like meant to happen. So. Uh, so yeah, I really do like work. I, I like working with them. They're good people, and like I said, I really like their system. Um, it works well. The van, everything is controlled by one control panel or one app on my phone. So that makes it nice. Did you do a quickly four by four conversion, or did you just borrow parts from them? No. Well, so I basically I did an AJ's four by four van conversion, which is basically they just take parts yep. from it. B350 and put them on, which I'll tell you is not the best way to do it. It's not going to give you the best handling. So I have done upgrades since then to um, a new modified uh, track or yeah, new modified track bar and new modified radius arms, which kind of really helped with the bump steer and helping it track down the road better. How are you folks? It is really cool, man. It's so nice inside. Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah, see everything. So apparently indoors is new, according to somebody who's been here before. So Devo's lights, it can light up your entire campground, and I'm going to have you guys watch the spiel about it real quick. So Devo's, is this the, is this the original? Yeah. Because I've only seen yeah. one on anywhere on this YouTube. Is the this one. is it. So went down, went up right there. Um, Devo stands for Developing Outdoor Solutions. Well, they're yeah, I got to change. It's fine. Keep going. Okay. So this is the Light Ranger. This is their most popular product. Um, it's got four. It's got three settings. We've got the all sides are on. It's got four different sides, 300 um, lumens each, so 1,200 lumens total. You can change it so you only have two sides running. So if you want to light up your backyard but not your neighbors, you can. And also one side. It'll last for 16 hours on full blast with one side on four hours with all four sides on and eight hours with two sides on. And you said the dimmer would pretty much, if it's dimmed, it'll if last If it's dimmed, it'll last like okay. a day. Yeah. Yeah. So these ones up here, you can see are dimmed down. But it also comes in, we can, you can also purchase the amber lens on the side. So if you live somewhere, there's a ton of bugs, you can use the amber lens. And, right. 
kind of abated a little bit. But yeah, comes with a pole, goes up to nine feet, and casts about a 50 um, foot diameter circle of light. And the pole collapses down to this far, it comes with a stake, tripod, pole, light, charger. The whole thing for 129. 129 is the show price, normally they're 150. Okay. You're good. So American made. Alright, your change is 50, 59. The business is out of Flagstaff, Arizona. And uh, $50 and 59 cents. Alright, you can get the I'm gonna give you a new one. So check it out. You're still here. So this whole thing. And when it deflates, when it deflates it'll, it all it'll all fit into that. Super tough. Yeah, it is. It's almost like the <coughs> wrap material. It is. And cut you get a, there's a mattress you can get. You can put gear on top too and tie it down. It's the same material they use on inflatable Yeah, we were yeah we were wondering. The guy started this company. And it has its own inflatable. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. See you, Jim. Thanks for stopping. So the whole thing inflates and it's elevated because it has inflatable uh, yeah, it has posts. Legs. Yep. And if you want to float on the lake, just take it out. It'll float on the lake for you. Turn this upside down. It's a boat. Right. That's ingenious. Where's the yacht over? Where's the... Uh, the company's in Southern California. Oh, it is? Yeah. Whereabouts? That's where we're from. Uh, look at the website. Um, Flat it's uh, Carlsbad. Okay, San Diego area. Yeah. Oh, right by me. I live in Escondido. Yeah. Flatted.com. Flated. Flated, sorry. Everybody says flat. Uh, it makes more sense yeah. flated, yeah. Right. Sour pouch. Yeah, buddy. I got deals here. Five for 25. Cucumber bamboo, best smells. Man, everything's here. Everything's here. You gotta come out here. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. But you gotta come out here. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. I didn't even have it on. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I just filmed the whole segment totally and didn't even have the no, video was, on. That was geeking out so hardcore. Probably was, because I'm geeking out so hard, I forgot to push good. record. So. I'm gonna do this again. The response probably won't be the same as what I didn't record, take but two. <laughs> take two. these guys. So we're sitting at an empty table. There's an empty table behind us at the food court, beer gardens, and all of a sudden, all these people sit behind me. Justin and Craig. Story till now. Those are Overland. So I did geek out, turn around and talk to him a little bit, but I'm gonna leave him alone because I'm respectful of people's time. But uh, yeah, wow, like YouTube Central right behind me.
man, this, um, man, my neck is fried. But we're gonna head back to camp. Uh, we've made our rounds, geeked out like crazy, as you've already seen. Um, and we might come back later today or just come back tomorrow. But either way, man, what a show, what a show. If you've never been to this, you gotta get out here. Whether it's, whether it's east, west, northwest, just come to one of these shows, man. There is so much to see, so much to experience. Good morning, everybody. It is, what is today, guys? Saturday or Saturday? Saturday, so that's day, this started day two, the actual event. We've been here three whole days already, and we're doing well. Um, one of the people that I camp with, Mark, is an amazing cook, and he is going to make... Mark, Mark, I'm just going to let you talk about it, and uh, we'll, I'll film it. Posole for breakfast at camp. But you guys have never done that before, huh? So what are we adding first? First is the pork, and... Did, did you cut, cut it up at home, or? I brought a pre-cut just because we're going to be out at camp. Well, sure. That's the point, right? Have yeah. it ready. No. What do you have in the water? And so I, there's some, either that or a leaf from the in, trees fell in. Oh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <clears throat> so what do you got there? Now we're going to put in hominy. Hominy. Okay. The best one, Juanitas. This right here is, it's the Nor chicken seasoning, the chicken bouillon. Oh. This right here is the best. New Mexico chili. Ooh. Good stuff. Now again, some people do it with, uh, they'll boil their own chilies and make, sure. make their own like sauce. I mean, it's, it's this not, is easier. I'm camping. It's, it's easier. Um, well, you tell me, but the thing is, is the little bit of prep work, you can do all the things you can do in your own kitchen. Exactly. Out here with a little bit of extra prep work. Exactly. Okay, and this is the same? Or the different? California chili. Good stuff. Right. I need some chopping. Chopping some foods. This one, I don't do onions. You don't I don't do onions? onions? I mean, you can put oh, onions. I'm allergic but... to onions. Okay, so. good. I love them. And you just throw radishes on top? Yeah, throw them on top. I throw cabbage on top. Cabbage. Ooh, yum. You know, squeeze squeeze a lime into it. I'll skip the cabbage. But other than that. You bet. No? Holy All shit. these pasole virgins. Yeah. Camp Pasole, what do you think? Maybe mm. did you get some of the pork in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was good. You like it? Mm. It looks good. Is it my turn now? Go right past the signage. Anyway. <laughs> Here, I forgot about those. You gonna sit down? I am. Okay, I gotta get your first reaction. Gonna... You, you still liking it? I'm loving it. Yeah, okay. Dude, that is excellent. Yeah? First time, and that's great. He's our Marco, right? He's our Marco. He's our Marco. Yeah. For sure. We just left the O out. Yeah. Do you have a million dollars? You could roam the world in one of these. They're pretty bad. I mean, go anywhere. Space is inside. Having a motor on home on steroids. But, uh, good looking. Sunday. It's Sunday. Friday. Friday was good. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me talk to you for one second. Awesome. Chatting it up a little bit. Yep. Fender, so good. Just one winch in the front. Uh, you can on the back. I think some of my favorite vehicles out here this whole weekend have been the older ones. I didn't even see this Land Cruiser. It's been here all the whole time. Look at this thing. Pretty 
nice. A lot of money. If you guys haven't been to one of these expos, you have got to get out to one. Everything you can imagine, all in one place. Get to see some of your YouTube uh, heroes, if you will. Those that you watch, they're all here. And just looking at the rigs is crazy, amazing, and awesome. So, I mean, just look at this whole guy. And that thing is amazing. Aaron down. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. While we were at Overland Expo, we met some amazing people. Adventure Bound Overland was one of them, and man, did he give us a great tip on where to camp for our last night. Stay tuned, and I'll show you an epic, epic campsite. I can't thank you enough, Adventure Bound Overland. Thank you.